do you remember how we met? Yeah, I do remember how you met. <laughs> Talk to me. You want the, you want the whole story? Uh, <laughs> I remember uh, you coming to a concert that I was uh, performing at. Um, it was a it was a concert for us, but it was a jam session afterwards. So it was like, hey, we play, and then whoever wants to get on the stage um, comes up and plays. And I remember you having this very tight jacket on, like you, you, your jacket was very medium. And you you came on stage, and I, I guess you had to get your get your nerves up because you like slung your dreadlocks back <laughs> and everything. It was like you know like release, and uh, and then you got up and sang. You sang a few words, man. I thought it was pretty. I I, I love the tone of your voice, um, and maybe a few times of seeing you uh around and in, in, in the in the music circle uh of the church that we were at um i was like yeah so when you gonna do your album you know and he and you, you were like let's do it and i was like all right let's go <laughs> like don't don't threaten me with a good time let's right. go so yeah yeah man i remember that day uh distinctly and i was with my boy glenn cj uh i know he was tuned in a little bit earlier but um I forget, I forget the venue it was at, somewhere in Houston. It was off of Washington. It was like, it, was a, off it, Washington. it ain't off Washington. No yeah, more. it was yeah. Influence Streams. Yeah. Show. yeah. And uh, that was my first time hearing Neon Collars. Hence the name of this episode, Neon Collars. Yeah. Um, here I like to to name all my episodes after my initial interaction with the people who, I'm, who are guesting on my show. And so sure. that's where we met a Neon Collars show. And, um, you know, as a couple people have already uh, dropped in my DMs, they was like, uh, you interviewing Neon Collars? And I was like, no, 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 don't don't get it twisted. You know, the people who know, they know, you know what I'm saying? And they probably were expecting a reunion show, which well, you know, I won't threaten the people with. Quiet as it's kept, man. It wasn't that long ago. Uh, Fran hit us up about doing a reunion. Come on, man. Listen, make but, that happen. I mean, it, it happened. But we like I was my mom was in the hospital that day. I couldn't go. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, it was a couple people that live out of out of state. So it's kind of like it, it happened, but not to the to the grandiose, you know, like how it how it could happen. You know, listen, bro, that that one that one night, I, I promise you that one encounter changed my life. Oh, wow. Changed my life. Changed my life. So I see it fitting that I start this off with you because uh, Six Degrees podcast is all about connecting the dots, you know? Yeah. Uh, we, we're connected through so many different people, and I'm sure we even have connections that we're unaware of. And so uh, I, I definitely want to take some time to highlight that, and we'll get to that eventually. Yeah. Uh, but the people want to know more about you, bro. They want to know about you. What, and, what you want me to tell you? Uh, <laughs> listen, you're one of the most well rounded people that I know. Man. You are a musician, a photographer a barber, an author, a world traveler, a teacher, a visual artist. Did I miss anything? Um, maybe. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I, I don't like to think about um, myself as being things. Um, it's just that, like, God blessed us with so many abilities and that you should use them all to to live in your purpose. Yeah. Um, uh, for instance, you know, like you and I, uh, we both do photography and videography, but I didn't start doing videography until I saw you do uh, videography. And, you know, it was like, I saw you do it. And I was like, if he could do it, I mean, like, wow. I can do that too. Uh, and not, not really in that, you know, that's no, I know what you mean. I definitely, but it was, it was, um, you see people doing things and then you realize like how capable of something you're, you, you are to doing it. Um, and from there, you just grow, grow that thing. You know, um, I never thought about being an author, but I've always been writing stuff. Mm. Um, I've never thought about, uh, um, really being, a. I never thought about being a bass player, to be honest with you, uh, in college, I fought myself. That's right. Cause I met you on drums. Yeah. I yeah. You know, I, 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 I stuck, I really had it in my mind that I could only master one thing. And I think that's the way that uh, the world tells you, you can only, you know, master one thing, one object, one, one job, whatever it is. And um, I stuck to that. I stuck to that. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy because the moment I got on bass, nobody allowed me to play bass anymore. 
you know, like you, you one of them, you, you were one of those yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I, I went to school for drums. Like this is what I went to school for. This is what I, I wanted to be the best at. I marched in the band. I, you know, I play for all these artists. And then the moment I touched another instrument, nobody let me go back to the thing that they that met me on. Yeah, and I was like, okay, well, I guess y'all want me to get better at this thing. Yo, that that that. Leads.